Are you trying too hard to please other people? Best-selling author Cheryl Hunter here. Virtually every day people come to me and ask, what do I do? I feel like I've lost my passion, my mojo, myself. Well, here's why I think that happens. It's like we're being good little boys and girls and doing what other people want from us versus doing what we want for ourselves. I'm gonna tell one on myself. When I first started leading personal and professional development seminars, I had people training me who gave me a lot of critique and feedback. Things like, be appropriate. Stop swearing. I like to swear. They'd say things to me like, stop touching people. Do not hug the participants. <laughs> I'm a hugger. What can I say? And they told me, dress appropriately. Like, you know, why don't you wear some monochromatic dresses every day? At the end of the time, it was like I, I was so crushed down with appropriateness that I kind of lost myself. I figured at the end of my life, my tombstone would read, was appropriate, didn't offend many. What kind of life is that? It's like, it's just totally empty. The problem is, if people aren't happy with you now, they're never gonna be happy with you no matter how much you change. Best bet, be happy with yourself. And the people who love you just the way you are will find their way to you. It's like author Seth Godin says when he talks about finding your tribe. How do you find your tribe? Well, you'd be authentically yourself. Here are three ways you can do that. Number one, indulge in your idiosyncrasies. You know the things that other people might think are weird, but they give you total joy? Do that shit. Find your idiosyncrasies and sprinkle them around. Number two, take up at least one thing that you love, but you gave up on. My niece used to dance all the time. When she was a toddler, when she was a little kid, every time I'd see her, she'd be spinning and twirling and dancing. I saw her recently and I was like, hey, do you still love to dance? And she says, oh, I'm not so good at that. It's like, no, take up something you used to love. Point number three, be willing to be bad at things. Do the things you love, no matter if you're good or bad at those things. I, I, for example, am the world's worst surfer. I still love it. Brings me a ton of joy. But as adults, we start to become afraid to fail at things. Be willing to be bad. Be willing to fail. Just do what you love. Speaking of love, I would love to hear from you. Head on over to CherylHunter.com where the real conversation is taking place. And in the comment section under the video, let me know what are some of the crazy things you've been doing to please other people. And better yet, what are you gonna do about it now? While you're there, subscribe to my list for exclusive content. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family and follow me on social media. Thank you for being here. Here's to living your own life. Go get them. Best thing to do, just be happy inside of yourself. The people that love you just the way they are, just the way you are, holy crap, let me do it again. <laughs>